uh, Cox out, baby. All right, so uh, all right, so we got we got Bans Pikachu. Oh, never mind. We gotta we gotta we gotta switch around the cameras here. I think uh, I believe that's this. Uh, oh wait, nope, never mind. That was bad. That was melee. Uh, you know, this is this is very awkward. You know, this is we are a professional stream here. Uh, no, no, that's bands. That's bands. The problem is I gotta switch around these as well. There we go. All right, now we're back. Uh, so John Free starting off with Pyra, uh, just like his keychain has. And right now, Bands is doing his best to uh, get away from. It. And here comes Mithra. So uh, as someone who has played Bands, you know extensively, what are what are your thoughts on on this on seeing the Pikachu in action here? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess another aspect of this matchup would be Falco recovery is a bit exploitable, and having that against Pyrus is kind of not the greatest. And I feel like you can kind of expect that Pyrus is going to be the one approaching. Goes for an S match, doesn't get it. Uh, did not watch out for the blazing. Uh, I think that's Nova. No, Flame Nova. You know, I don't know any of Pyra's moves. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, guess... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Bab 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 gets very excited over watching his... I think Ben is wearing his AirPods, thankfully. He can't hear any of this. He's, a, he's in a better place. Easy recovery for Bans. He gets past that. Now he runs. Now he goes. Combo time. I think, I think I think the good thing about Bands is Pikachu is he's very intelligent about choosing what his spots, like what he wants to go in, what he wa what he thinks he should stay back. Oh uh, my God! Wow, he oh. got the up air street. Oh, and he got spiked for it. He just ball. got he got sent to hell for that ball. one. Uh, wow, um, that was a really good reversal from John Free. Uh, definitely a good recognition about what was happening. Oh, oh wow, Bands. Vans, Vans gets the thunder. Uh, my my co-commentator is very excited about this. Oh wow, that was uh. These two, are, they're definitely scrapping a bit, but uh, right now, uh, Mithra is definitely winning this because she has the better frame data and the better uh, hitboxes. And oh no, here comes Pikachu. All right, I guess I guess I guess I should not talk about frame data and hitboxes when I talk about Pikachu. Oh no. No. Oh. Okay, Bans needs to be careful. He might he might do something dumb here. All right, uh, goes for an upbeat, doesn't get anything out of it, uh, but manages to land on the platform, so Bez has oh no punish God, whatsoever. Crazy. Okay, uh, thank you, Bavow. Uh, all right. Hit the footstool combo? That would have been nuts, no? I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what my co-commentator was doing right now, but uh, I do know what Bez is doing. He's trying to close this game out right now. And unfortunately, he's going up against Pyra, and uh, he's going to have to do his best. Oh, no, here comes Mithra. Um, feels like Joffrey just hasn't had that much stage control this entire match because, uh, Bands' hitboxes seem to be oh, serving... Oh, my Wow, God. um, I... Is this guy? So, unfortunately, it seems like Joffrey just wasn't expecting the parry on that one. Bands I manages to punish him swiftly and gets the game. Yo, uh, at, at the beginning, it was looking a little rough, but he's fully got the download down now. He got the download. Oh, my God. Okay, um, oh, so... Oh, uh, we're switching to Smell Battlefield here. Uh, I apologize for my co-commentator. Uh, so... I apologize for my co-commentator. So, sixth to Pyramithra. Uh, I assume we're gonna go back to Pikachu. Yeah, we're going back. Honestly, I do do actually like the combination of Pikachu and Falco for bands, because I do feel like the way he plays them do complement each other really well. Yeah, very versatile. Uh, because I feel like... I feel like, especially a lot of, like, the... Matches where you gotta choose your spots a bit more wisely. I think Pikachu and taking it a bit more slowly is oh, yeah, a lot better for Bands because I feel like when he plays Falco, he's very, he's a little too focused on rushing in on his opponent, and I think that's good in certain certain matches. But definitely in a matchup like Pyramithra, I think you gotta be careful about what you're doing, especially against that foresight because you can just be punished immensely for misclicking something. But uh, right now he has got a quick 81 to 18. Here and yeah, he's definitely something. Someone who's in contention for PR here at Tech. 
And he's definitely trying to show everyone here why he should still be number 10 at the very least. Yeah, I think he tried going for, he's probably an F smash, just misinputted it, but. This is a good chance to hear John Free though, because if you're John Free, you should have died at that situation. And right now, you're, whatever you're taking here is kind of just, you know, icing on the cake. Uh, at this point, he, oh no, oh wow, that was a big down air. Uh, and he's kind of bought this one back, but Bans, Bans got that interrupt with the T-Jolt and got managed to follow up with the dash attack afterwards. I think that's really one of the big things about T-Jolt in this matchup. Especially against someone like Pyro, you know, doing moves is always very slow and committal. So, you get the opportunity to hit Pyro while she's doing something and, you know. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess. I think. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that's. He wanted the down air. Well, I guess he wanted a down air, but at that point it was like he switched. So you kind of yeah, need yeah. to back off a little bit yeah, there. Yeah, Especially against Pyra, because she's so strong. But uh, right now, Ben's doing his best to, you know, close this out, uh, okay. keep it and make it a swift 2 0. Uh, oh, gets a grab. Doesn't get much off of it. Oh, no, never mind. Got a 4 there. I think in that situation, you want to let Mithra commit to some sort of recovery and then go for something. I think Mads committed a little too early and he got caught out for it. But, uh... Oh, oh wow. God. That was a... That was a great catch on the transformation. Uh, unfortunately, for Joffrey, oh, this could be a nasty situation. Uh, but manages to make it back on stage. That's really just one of the strengths of Pikachu. Off-stage gameplays just, uh... Your bread and butter, it's where you make your, it's where you make your money. And right now, he's, this look, this Pikachu is looking really good. Uh, I don't know if he's looked at a lot of combos lately, but I feel like you can kind of see that he has some of that experience there. Wow, there's the thunder. Oh, but great tech from John Free. That was, oh, the reversal. Okay. Wow, John, John, for, five, for like three seconds there, Joffrey was dead, came back to life, and said to Bans, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, but this is definitely a lot better situation than it used to be. Uh, so unfortunately, he might not be able to make it back from here. Uh, Joffrey doing his best to bring this back. He's trying to build up that damage, try to get some sort of... Some sort of uh, damage onto Pikachu so he could close it out quickly. Oh no! Bands didn't recognize the Flame Nova and that's the game! What a play from John Free. Wow. John, John Free was dead. And then he. I don't think it was fully charged. I just don't think Bands expected it. But he also had a ton of rage. Thank you. Uh, oh, and, uh, sorry about that, Dolph. Alright. Alright, um, so, if you're banned, that's definitely a very frustrating game to just go through, unfortunately. Um, it was honestly a great play from John Free, though. Um, you know, the recognition about the, uh, the thunder to hit the tech and... You know, make it back and get the reversal on Bands. Oh, wow, but that was a great thunder from Bands. Unfortunately, he does not get the hitbox he wants.